So, Wanda, one of the things I wanted to talk about is just your vision and your footwork. How are you able to marry that together and see that whole and, and accelerate through it the way you are? I think just watching, knowing how plays develop, and most importantly, knowing what the line is doing, who they're working up to. They might not be there yet, but I'm seeing it going on, but I'm seeing it happening before, before it actually happens. So just, I think knowing their assignment and knowing who's blocking who is helping me with my vision tremendously. Playing in a wide-open offense, at West Virginia, then playing in a running offense as well. Uh, you develop the ability to play slot. You can catch the ball at the backfield. Obviously, you're a good running back. How does your versatility transfer to the NFL, and especially this offense? I think just now with everything we do at the back, to motion in the south, running routes, and doing certain things, I definitely think a back needs to be able to do it all in this league now to where the game is going, to where we're throwing it a little and got to run to it. So I definitely think I complement that kind of offense, especially this offense. So what coach is asking us to do. That vision that you have as a running back is not only running the football, you're able to scan the pass rush and you know protect the quarterback inside out. How were you able to develop those skills and, and how advanced do you feel that is coming to the NFL? I think it's very advanced because you got to be fast and you're not always going to be the most physical guy, so you might have to be the guy to the punch and stuff like that. So seeing it early before it happens is real important for me with the blitzes and Instead of just catching me off guard and me having a run to it, I think stepping up and um, expecting that blitz is helping me pick up stuff just like it did in college. What's it like standing here with your name on an NFL locker? It, it's crazy. It's just, it's just a dream come true. I mean, I'm just happy to be here every second. It's truly a blessing. What are you most interested in terms of finding out about yourself at this level? Just, just how I compete against the other guys, honestly. I believe that's why I came here to go compete against the most elite guys in, the, in this sport. So I definitely think I want to compare myself to them and go out and show them better than some guys. What's your first impressions? Like, how, how different is it than college? It's, 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 it's way different, way different than college. It's not even, I don't even think it's close to what goes on in the NFL and college. When you saw a playbook, did, did it look just so much different and just so like another language when i when i saw it i was just like hey, it's no way they want me to know all of, the, all of this stuff all these formations all these plays i thought it was just like we're going to do these and that's that'll be it but when i came in they said you got to know all of these and i was just like i just had to sit down and start looking at every single one so <laughs> it was it was kind of just run ran up on me is it more nerve-wracking or more relaxing to be in this environment because you're so close to home I think it's more relaxing just being so close and not being kind of uptight, kind of loose and no no induced before and stuff like that. So I definitely think I'm kind of relaxed. And he stresses that to all the backs to just relax. You're not going to get in one day. It's going to take take a while. And I think that that definitely helped me. How's your family dealing with this? Like, is it a dream come true for them that, that you are here this close? Yeah, it's just crazy. Them, them being so close, they all want to come see me. I'm just like, just relax and stay home. I haven't seen anyone since I've been here. It honestly feels like I'm somewhere far, but I think them just giving me that space and them being as pumped and supporting the Eagles as much as they do, I definitely think it, it means a lot to all of them. True, because if they were here every night, how would you get in that playbook? Yeah, they got to go. They got to go. They can't come up here. Yet. What do you know about, uh, have you spoke to any guys in the backfield? And if not, just what do you know about those guys and what do you think you can bring along with them? I think I spoke to King I've been with King in the past couple days. And I think he's been, he does a lot of the stuff I do, catch the ball and things like that. So I definitely think he took me under his wing, helping me out with the plays and anything I needed, even off the field, asking me if I needed to go somewhere and stuff like that. So I definitely think me and him kind of kind of are similar a little bit. So I definitely think he's he's taken to that and he's showing me the ropes. Is it hard to have to answer questions about the character questions, you know, you know about that, that incident? coming into all this, is that, is that hard to like, get that behind you? No, nah, I mean, it's, it's, it's going to always be there. I mean, but as long as I'm addressing it right and just telling the truth about every situation I had, I haven't really had a problem with dealing with any of that, any of them issues or questions about it. One of the few negatives on you in terms of athletic ability was inconsistent in the block. What do you think your block on the other? How much do you think you need to improve? I definitely thought it was average this past year in college. I thought my block was real average. And I think I just need to have a better attitude towards it. And like I said, what helped me was knowing where it's coming from. So I was kind of lazy about it. But I think just attacking those blitzers and um, being more focused and having a great attitude and bringing force when I, when I pick up the blitz is definitely going to help me on the screen. What are your first thoughts about Carson Wentz? 
He's a big guy. I didn't, I didn't know he was that tall. He's pretty, he's pretty good. In watching you, uh, your versatility, your, your running style, north, north and south, uh, one of the guys that came up to me, uh, Brian Westbrook, is a guy that, that I thought of when watching you. Growing up in this area, did you watch Westbrook? Yeah, and is that yeah. an accidental comparison yeah, or I, purpose? I, I mean, I've been, I've been watching Brian Westbrook since when he was here. I just was watching his highlights yesterday in our dinner we had, the rookie dinner we had. So I definitely thought he, he ran hard, and I, that's definitely a guy I want to mock my game after. How glad are you finally get off the field and get to work on you know, the field and practice? I've just been happy just because I haven't been with the team this whole process, just being with the team and learning plays and getting into the schedule. I definitely think I was excited to get back on the field and do some stuff and get, get conditioned and stuff like that. What have been impressive so far, how the coaching staff has talked to you and how they've helped prepare you for what's coming up? I think, I think the most impressive thing with them, the coaches has been, they're, they're just taking our time with us. They know, they know we're not going to get stuff right off the bat. And they've been helping us every step of the way, anything we need, anything we need to know. They've been on it. So I definitely think us getting to know the playbook is very important to them and it's important to those guys. What so have been your first impressions of the offense so far? Or what you guys been able to do? First in person, as far as what? Well. Yeah, as far as the scheme, in terms of what, what you'll be doing, what your role is going to be. I think my first in person was just, just everything, really. Just you, you got to know almost every position, what they're doing this play, and be able to play all those positions. So I definitely think that's it. So you fall asleep with the playbook last night? <laughs> yeah, now nah, I fall asleep. With, I, I got to hurry up and plug the iPad so it don't die. So <laughs> I can't fall asleep with it. But I've been in it heavy and then getting the bed. Cool.